Okay, so now we know why we might need push notifications in your PubNub applications. So how do you go about setting this all up and getting it implemented into your application? So there are four basic high-level tasks that you need to perform. The first one is you need to enable your PubSub keys to use the mobile push gateway plugin, and you need to upload your push cert or your uh, GCM API key. The second step is you need to obtain a device or, uh, or a registration ID from that push service. The third step is actually use that, that token, that, that device ID, to register your devices for push notifications on PubNub channels. And the fourth step and final step is to actually implement code to receive and process those push notifications. Okay, so now let's talk about the details of each of those steps. Step one was enable it in configuration. So in your PubNub admin dashboard, you need to go to your PubSub keys, enable the mobile push gateway add-on, just like you uh, enable any add-on. Once you're in there, you need to get your push cert from Apple or your GCM API key from, from, from Android and you will add those to the push, the mobile push gateway add-on. There's a configuration panel for doing both of those. Okay, now PubNub knows what to do and, and that you want to do push notifications. Okay, so on to step two, you need to actually obtain a registration, uh, device token, um, whatever it's called with whatever platform you're using. So for an APNS, you might say, hey, APNS service, I need to get a registration ID or device token for this device so that I can register for push notifications. And on, on Android, same process. It's a little bit different, but uh, you need to obtain some sort of a device ID. And the details of how to do that is outside of you know, the PubNub domain, but all of this is laid out in detail on our SDK documentation website. So if you just go there, you can see for every platform, for iOS, uh, Android, all of our server APIs, as well, our server SDKs as well, whether that be PHP, Python, or uh, Node or Java, is how to do all this. You can actually register your device tokens from the server as well as the, uh, the client side. Once you've obtained the device token or the registration ID from the push service, you now can use that to register your device for push notifications on PubNub channels. And so each SDK will have its own specific uh, method, its own specific API for doing this. All you have to do is call that method, provide the device token, as well as a list of channels that you want to register for push notifications on. Now, once messages are published with push notification format in them, if the app is running in the background, you will receive push notifications on those channels. And we'll get into a little more about the details about how to send push notifications to these channels and what it takes to, to make that all happen. So now you have your device registered for push notifications on PubNub channels. So how do you receive those push notifications and process them? Well, on each mobile platform, you're going to have a different API that you will use in order to process, to receive those push notifications. On the Android platform, you actually have to implement a GCM broadcast receiver, and there's an on message event that you actually write your code to receive that message and do whatever you need to do with it. Whether you need to display it or you're running in the foreground, don't display it because you've actually received that message in real time. On the iOS side, there is a method called did receive remote notifications. And again, you're in the foreground, you just want to suppress the display of the push notification, running in the background, the device will display it, user taps the push notification, activates the app, and then you can actually take action on the full message that was delivered.